There are exhibitors at the Ligna 2011 where the service is, is really excellent. One of these companies is called Sarah. I am sitting next to Hans. You're not an escort service here at Sarah. What exactly is it that you do? We produce mobile and stationary sawmills. And what does that look like? It's a horizontal bandsaw. Um, it can cut very flexibly and can be taken to the place where it needs to be used by car. So you don't need to take the wood to the sawmill, but can take the sawmill to the wood. Now, you sound very Bavarian. Yeah, we're from the Kim Lake. That is in Bavaria. So I have a question. I would like to have a real broadside, a special kind of snack that we have in Bavaria. Well, you can get that in Hanover as well, but I don't know if it tastes as good as it does with us in Bavaria. Well, you need to have a proper board for a broadside. You have to be able to solve that. That's something that we can try now. We're just arriving at our stand and we have the right machine for that there. I'm going to get my own broadside board. It is made of wood. So we've got wood here now, Hans, but this is very far from a board. Well, this is a machine that can make that kind of board. It has a petrol motor. I'd like to show you it. It's one of our most inexpensive machines. We have several sizes here, different sizes of sawmills, but I'll show you this one first, and then later maybe I can show you a bigger one. So this is a mobile sawmill. Yes, it's an absolutely mobile sawmill. And what is the really innovative thing about it? Well, it's because it has a petrol motor here up at the top. The other machines run either on electricity or with diesel. And this one has a petrol motor. We've not had something like that on the trade fair ever before, and so we're introducing it this year. But I really would like to have my board for my broadside. But we've got to choose a machine first. Okay, so let's have a look at the next machine. We're standing next to a further sawmill at the company Serra. Hans, this is much bigger than the first one. What exactly is this? This is our model of Montana. Um, on this we can look exactly at how the procedure uh, goes forth. The wood is here on the bed, lying on the bed. The carriage uh, drives past the wood. And on the carriage there is a horizontal bandsaw that can be adjusted in its height and can saw through the wood slowly. I can put the trunk on the machine um, with using the machine and I can also turn it. And then these arms come down and take the board and put the boards down. They can then be moved from there to the next step and then they're pulled through the saw. Well, this looks a bit more like a broadside board. We've talked a lot about saws, but can we actually watch one of these machines at work? Yes, I'll show you. So let's go to look at machine number three. It's so loud, I can't understand myself speaking. Hans, I'd wanted a bit of action, but I didn't really want that much noise. Yes, but if you're wanting the chips to fly, you really have to have a bit of volume as well. What, what is the special thing about this machine? This machine is very good, um, it's very flexible. It's the Bavaria SE135, it's our flagship, um, it has a fully galvanized frame, flexibility is very high. We can also see lots of buttons, it looks like a cockpit uh, in, a, in an aeroplane, what do you need all these uh, things for? Well, they're for manipulating the trunk. These are switches for the different electrical um, vents, um, main switch and so on, and the touch panel on which you can put in all the measurements for the, for the cutting and also things like the, the wood volume and things like that can be, that can be stored in this machine. You sound very Bavarian, but I'm sure that you are present worldwide. Yes, we have um, sales in six languages. 
44 countries uh, where we have uh, sites and have our machines running in many, many countries from Siberia to Dubai, Papua New Guinea, and to Fiji even. That was the last place that we delivered to. This sounds very impressive, Hans. But I still haven't got my bronze board. Oh, I'll cut it now. Okay, great. Thank you. So the lid, the, the trunk, has uh, now been cut off, the top of the trunk. Now it's going to take the chainsaw, making marks for the different lengths. These slits are going to be put into the same uh, depth, and then the saw will go over, and uh, the planks, the, or these broadside bread, the boards will come out. It's going to be a very big board. No, it's not. Um, the, the bits in between the, the cu cuts here, that will be the size of your board. What do I need to know if I want to buy this kind of machine? What does it cost? The machine, of course, has everything that we have on offer. Uh, it is in a six-digit area. But we also have uh, other products that are not nearly as expensive. There's one that costs 40,000, for example. And of course, you have things everywhere in between. So at least I've got my board now. Oh, it's going to be loud again. So the bandsaw is going to go over it again. And then the boards will just fall off. And you can take as many as you want. How many have you made in your life? I think about 3,000, probably. But only at trade fairs, only just for fun. Wow, so it's just going over it quickly. How heavy is the machine? 3.5 tons. Well, that's, that's quite impressive. Oh, my board is finished. I'm really excited. Come on, give me one. So there's the board. This is a broadside board XXL. Yeah, it's, it's for a good meal. Yes, you're right. Okay, but we have to enhance a little bit. Come on. Okay, Hans, we now have my Brutzeit board, but can I eat from that? Well, we use special saw blades, um, so it is not rough anymore. We're going to put a special stamp on it now. Oh, and that's a special thing you promised me. Yes. So what do I have to do? Or are you going to do it? No, you can do it yourself. Give me the microphone. You have to take it into your hand. Okay, try it. It's very hot. Watch out. Just press hard. Yes, that's right. Press hard. One, two, three. Oh, fantastic. Great. My broadside board is finished. Before we go and get a broadside, you, dear viewers, can have some more action at the Sarah stand. Dear viewers, Sarah, you don't only get mobile sawmills, the service is really exquisite. Okay, I'll take you home now. And if you have any more time, we may as well just have the meal now. I've got my board, and I've got something to drink as well. Could you maybe cut me some of that meat? Yeah, just a sec. It looks really delicious. You can only get this at Sarah. I'm really impressed. I was picked up. I'm getting a meal. This is better than at home. Yes, we're really keen on good service. Dear viewers, do have a look at Sarah DE. When technology is one of a kind and it tastes really good. We'll just carry on eating and hope you have a lot of fun at the Ligna 2011. Cheers.